probably about one o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little, a little before that. Just doing a quick checkup on the honeybees. Looks like good inbound, outbound traffic. Imagine their foraging is uh, going to pick up dramatically the next uh, week or two. With that shot of rain we had, that should bring on another round of blooms and good nectar. I know I sat here last night and was watching and there was a lot of pollen coming in. And that tells me that uh, they're going to keep production up, nest production up, which will keep populations up, which will keep productivity up. Yeah, a lot of pollen coming back in here. Oh, there goes another one. Just had a honeybee bounce off my ear. <laughs> Alright, ladies, I'll get out of your way. Quick check on the old top bar hive. Same. Good traffic in and out. Busy working bees. August 5th, 2020. Uh... So it's been about a week and a half or so, I think, since I did a last in inspection on hives. Just going to pop them open and see how they're filling honey supers, especially this all-the-way right-hand hive. That's the second swarm captured this year. And uh, I noticed the other night before the storm came in, we had quite a few bees up in this top box in the hole there. And uh, so that tells me that they're working their way up and they may be filling those up with honey quicker than uh, quicker than I think but we're gonna go in and have a look and uh, we're gonna check these other colonies out while we're in here uh, I'm trying something new today uh, I do have the smoker and the uh, torch for lighting that on standby over by the greenhouse but uh, my YouTube friend Frederick Dunn has a channel uh, he does all sorts of awesome videos about backyard bees and beekeeping. He tests all sorts of equipment and uh, he goes into some excellent discussions. He uploads a new video every Friday. It's about an hour or a little longer uh, answering questions specifically uh, from his viewers and stuff. Anyway, educational, excellent educational channel. You should check it out. I'll put a link here. Um, and anyway, so one of the things he uses is one-to-one -one SERP with Honey Bee Healthy uh, instead of using the smoke to go into his hives. Um, you know, at least, when the, at least when the season pressures are low, like right now, they're pulling all kinds of resources. They're not as defensive. Um, so I've decided I'm going to try that. I picked up a spray bottle at Agway last week and uh, I made up some one-to-one -one SERP uh, today. I don't have any Honey Bee Healthy and when I looked it up online it was a little expensive. I don't have the budget for that right now. But I do have some lemongrass oil, so I put five drops of lemongrass oil in here. Uh, we also use that for uh, swarm capture to help mimic queen pheromone in the springtime. So I figured that would be a fairly uh, uh, pleasant smell for the bees. Uh, but it should be enough, hopefully, to disrupt their hormone or their pheromone communication. And that's why we use smoke also. Um, so we're going to try this today. One-to-one -one SERP. Um, I'm not going to go deep into the hives. But uh, I just want to see how they react with it and, uh, and see how, how they're doing. I suppose I've babbled on long enough. Well, let's get in there. So I'm not even taking the uh, cover off of this hive. I just popped the top box off. just want to see how things are looking. Mm. Mm, they don't seem to be too happy with me, huh? Let's, uh... Hit him with a little syrup. It seemed to work up here. But I have to say... Uh... Seemed to have a few more bees following me around and going after the camera. This smells wonderful. So let's just look and see if we have any foundation drawing out here or anything. I don't really see anything drawn out yet. So it doesn't look like they're up into this full tilt yet. 
Um, but there is some population, so that's good to know. Uh, let's pop this second box and have a look at the bottom side of that quick. Just looking from the bottom here. Looks like uh, not a tremendous amount of activity in there either. Kind of surprised. I kind of thought they would be starting to fill that box out. But uh, maybe now that we've had the good rain, better flow will come on. And this third one was real heavy the last time I lifted it off, and I see the combs are drawn out. Looks like a good bit of capped. Capped honey in there, so. Uh, hi there. She's not happy. So I think uh, they haven't made a lot of progress since I last looked, but um, that's okay. It's early August, plenty of time. The goldenrod is just getting ready to open up, and the buckwheat is coming along, and we'll have lots more of that to follow. And there's plenty of other flowers that have yet to open. All right, so we'll just swap this back together and move along. All right, now we'll jump into swarm one quick. Same, I think I'll leave the cover and just pop the top box off. Well, that's still got lots of honey in it. So that's good. <clears throat> um, I have to say, uh, the smoke does have an advantage of being able to give a couple of puffs into the hive before you open it up. It's harder to do with this one-to-one -one syrup. <clears throat> and I notice a lot more bees come angrily out of the box at me when I first take the box off. And I, I don't know if you have watched some of my other bee videos, you probably notice a few more bees around me in a little bit more of an agitated state. Now, they don't seem to really keep coming after me, so it's not a big concern. But uh, I definitely can see where you want the smoker when they're feeling a little more aggressive. Um, fortunately, today they're fairly chill. Uh, I think we'll pop this box off quick, too, and have a look from the bottom. We got some bird comb going on there. Yeah, that's this one is also still light. Uh, but there is some comb in there. So, interesting, they are starting to build some of that out. This box here has a pretty good bee population in it. We'll lift that off too to get an idea of the weight in it and to get a look at the uh, main colony box too and just see how things look. You see the number of bees that are just kind of around me and a little more agitated. I don't get that so much with the smoke. Um, but I sprayed them down. You can see where I sprayed them down. And yeah, see, they're going at my. Uh, going at my veil and they're definitely more agitated. I think I'm going to stick to smoke. Um, I just like the results better. I mean I'm in a full bee suit here you know like I'm not I got nothing to worry about. A mouse chewed one of my gloves up a couple of weeks ago so I got new gloves they just came in this week. I'm protected uh, but I don't like seeing the bees get so agitated. I like uh, I like to keep them calm and chill. And uh, this is less calm and chill than usual. Um, but I think it is less disruptive than the smoke to the colony. And from that standpoint, it's good. And today I'm inspecting a little earlier than I usually do. I usually wait until late evening to do my inspections. Uh, most people do them uh, middle of the day when more foragers are out of the hive, so there's less bees in the way while they're inspecting. That makes a lot of sense, but uh, I just prefer evenings. And also, I know when I do an evening inspection and with smoke, I'm doing less disruption uh, to the total foraging of the colony. Whereas if I do it midday, I'm cutting, you know, half of the day's foraging work. Could 
effectively be reduced because uh, I understand the smoke slows them down significantly and I think that makes sense when you think about it anyway uh, I'm not going to pull any of these out but I would say that this uh, this queen is really uh, expanding this colony nicely we have excellent population on the top and it looks like they're starting to you know fill their way out across excellent population in this box as well and uh, so this colony is up to a point where I would say uh, it's thriving pretty well considering it was a small swarm and captured uh, you know just this year so I'm happy I'm going to uh, put these boxes back together and we'll move over to the original uh, 2018 hive. Okay, so the colony is back together. You see all this angry activity? I never get that when I use the smoke. Like I go to put the box back on and they get all pissed. With the smoke, I never see that. So, hmm. Makes me wonder if I should light the smoker for this box, but I think I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna have another peek in here. I really just want to see if they're starting to work on this medium on top. So let's have a look. So just looking in from the bottom, it doesn't look like they've done a tremendous amount of work on any of this yet. These are mostly drawn uh, combs from last year from an extraction. Uh, but there are bees in it, and they are working. Uh, <clears throat> just doesn't seem to be a lot of fast progress uh, as far as honey production this year. And uh, I suspect that has a lot to do with the drought. We basically haven't had any serious rain since the end of May. And uh, it's August, and we just got about an inch and a half of rain the other night. And, uh, and I think like maybe an inch or so last week. Other than that, we've been pretty darn dry. Anyway, I'm going to put these back together. We've had a look at things. Um, you know, we, uh, we play it as it lies and we let the bees do their thing. So we'll sit back and wait. And uh, that's good. That means I can focus on about 5,000 other things here on the farm. That's it for this inspection. I'm going to throw these hives back together. Uh, sorry, there's any more, anything more interesting for you. But there will be. Thanks for watching, Pharmacy Seeds Network.